to have some fun. It's time to get things done. It's time to make ourselves the best there ever was. Doesn't matter who you are, who you wanna be. You're all welcome here at Nitty Left TV. It doesn't matter who you are, who you wanna be. You're all welcome here at Nitty Left TV. You brought the tickets, right? Yep. Free admission for up to four people on Monday night. Dang. It's been a hot minute since we had a fun night. So did Todd and Genevieve bail? Yeah, they're busy. Ever since they started the new jobs, they're hardly ever free. Man, it sucks when friends' dreams come true. Don't I know it, bro. Two tickets? Oh, uh, here you go. What the... Where did you get this? It got sent to us in the mail. That's weird. I didn't know we'd do that. But it seems legit, so go on in. This is a nice place, isn't it? Yeah, I can't say the same about the prices, though. Two silly adult drinks, gentlemen. Compliments of that normal guy over there. Do you know that guy? No, I was just about to ask you the same thing. It's kind of weird that a stranger's buying us drinks, isn't it? Ordinarily, I'd say yes, but something about him just makes him seem like a normal guy. Huh, yeah, I see what you mean. Hey, everybody, how y'all doing tonight? Are you ready to laugh and cry and shout in amazement? Oof, I don't know if I'm ready for that. There's no way I'm ready for all of that. Let's get this show rolling with the enchanting musical stylings of the lovely Miss Emery Rose! <laughs> staring at my future wife. I don't see her. Oh, is she behind my future wife? <laughs> yeah, good one, Chris. Dreams are such funny, funny things. You never know just where you go whenever you start to dream. And if you do, it may not come true, and then you'll have to dream again. don't you? Meh. Crowd could have been better. What are you talking about? We haven't played to a crowd that full in weeks. They may have been full, but half the back row was talking during your number. Monty, you're too harsh on people. I'm just saying, if you're going to come to a show, watch it. If they want to blabber, put them on stage. I'm sure what they have to say is amazing. <laughs> that sounds like good material for your stand-up act. I told you before, I ain't never gonna do stand-up. Ever. Never, ever, ever! I'll get you up there one day. Hello. What might you want, sir? I'd like to speak with Miss Rose, if that's all right. Sure. 
Hello, Miss Rose. It's a pleasure to... Uh, t to meet you. Hello. Who are you? My name is... Bill Ding. I'm a realtor. I was in the audience just now, and I just had to say how truly magnificent you were out there. Oh, thank you. No, really, I, I mean it. You are as talented as you are beautiful. You see, I'm only in town for a short while, so I just wanted to say what an honor it was to see you while I'm here. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> You're making me blush. All right, buddy, that's very sweet, but she's got to get going so she can beat traffic. Oh, he is right. We live all the way in Norblock and have to get going. Have you ever thought of moving to Mini Life? Like I said, I'm a realtor and can help you find a premium spot. Oh, really? What kind of realtor offers to sell someone property when they're just passing through town? Achoo. Hey, Monty, what's wrong? What did you do to him? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's, he's absolutely, absolutely fine. fine. Yes, he's absolutely fine. No, 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 like I said, I can find you a new place. In fact, I have just a just spot in my spot. Oh yes, I just remembered. I have been wanting to move to Mini Life ever since a minute ago. And I'm sure the location you found is perfect. I'll sign right now so I can move there as soon as possible. I knew you'd come around. Just sign this blank contract right here and I'll fill in all the important details later. Well, everything seems to be in order. Pleasure doing business with you, Miss Rose. I just know you're going to love your new home. Thank you. I can't wait to see it. Have a wonderful night, sir. You as well, Miss Rose. I wish you all the happiness in the world. Goodbye, Monty. I'm sure I'll be seeing you soon. Ah, ah that's stinking. Emery, are you all right? Emery? Mm hmm uh, Yes, I'm fine. Good. You just sit down and rest for a bit. I'll be right back. All right, Monty. Don't be too long. Hey, Joshua! Yes, Monty? What gives? We just moved to Norblack last year, and already you're making us move again? Yes. It's necessary to ensure her happiness. What are you on about? Monty... This is going to be difficult to understand, and please don't ask why. But very shortly, I will not be able to watch after Emery anymore. <laughs> what are you talking about? I watch over Emery. That's why I was made, remember? No, no, listen to me. This will be my final visit to her, and you. After every new life I've created for her, after all the hundreds of homes she's lived in over the centuries, this... Last move I'm forcing upon her is my final act in her life. You're sounding a little grim, Gosh. Why after all this are you cutting off from her? What sort of possible thing would stop you now? Something that is bigger than me. This new home of hers will provide her with new friends and new opportunities so that she may prosper as she chooses. Monty, you are no longer bound by my power to protect her. But, I do hope that you will continue to. <laughs> well, what else would I do with my time? Sh she's my girl. Goodbye, Monty. <laughs> I'll miss our little interactions. Eh, I'm sure you'll be back in a month to bug me as usual. That was a pretty good show. Yeah, we'll have to come back here again. Glad to know you boys enjoyed the show. Uh, oh, hey. You're the guy that gave us the drinks tonight. And the one who sent you the ticket. Okay, I'm a little creeped out now. Yeah, I don't care how normal your shirt says you are. That's a weird thing for a stranger to do. Calm down. I'm no stranger. Don't you recognize your own god? Wait. I thought your voice sounded kind of familiar. Goshua? There you go. Gosh, what are you doing here? Oh, I just thought I'd pay a visit to two of my favorite mortals. Oh, gosh. I bet you say that about every mortal. No, really. I'm proud of you boys. Saving all those people at the tournament, 
trying to right a wrong with the psychic baby. And I understand you have a movie in the works. Yeah, it's going to be about what happened at the World Tournament. A lot of big names in talks, like JGL, Jennifer Lawrence. I heard we might even be able to get Al Pacino to play Commander X. Oh, no way. When would you hear that? That does sound like a thrilling movie, but have you explored it all a different plot for the film? Wait, are you about to give us notes on our movie? Well, I'm no filmmaker, but I did design all life on the planet, so I know a thing or two about being creative. We're listening? Well, everyone already knows what happened at the tournament. It was all over the news, but the public has never heard your story. The tale of how you two met. You really think that'd be a good movie? Well, I don't know, I'm just a god, but I think it's captivating. And if I'm being absolutely truthful, it's sort of the very reason you two were created. What? What do you mean? Come closer. Let me explain. Was that? Did you just... That was... Completely true. Hand to me. Um, well, I can tell you boys need some time to process all this, but I'm sure whatever you do, the movie will be fantastic. I'll see you boys in the future, and uh, remember to always love thy neighbor. Goodbye! It's the end. Until next time.